Hi, we are Project Scorpio and we are part of the Off-Road Student Association at Wrocław University of Science and Technology. We come from different universities and consist of five different departments, mechanics, electronics, software, marketing and science. In order to organize and store our project we use software such as Discord for communication, Eagle for electronics design, SolidWorks for mechanical design, GitHub for software cooperation and ClickUp for task distribution. Scorpio 7 has a dependent four-wheel rocker suspension system. Rockers are connected by two triangular levers linked by a beam. It can cross extreme terrain, such as obstacles up to the diameter of the wheel. A very low center of mass allows us to overcome steep angles up to 45 degrees. Driving module features all-wheel drive with BLDC motors which help the rover climb slopes in the extreme retrieval and delivery mission. To provide good traction, we use custom tires made with Cordura fabric. The driving module is equipped with a visible kill switch that cuts all the power in case of emergency. The robotic arm has six degrees of freedom. It's designed with the use of planetary and harmonic gear reducers to maximize precision and stiffness. It has a maximum range of 1.2 meter and can lift up to 5 kilograms on maximal extension. Grippers moved by lead screws give us satisfactory grip strength. To complete all necessary tasks, we will mount a hex key at the effector. For keyboard typing we use special preset move to avoid repeating same characters during typing. To minimize chance of collision we have created Rover 3D visualization as well as a widget calculating distance to the nearest obstacle. As main construction materials, we used carbon fiber, aluminium and PETG to provide necessary strength to mass ratio. For comfort of our operators and better spatial visualization of robotic arm without visual input, we have incorporated widget allowing us to see current manipulator position in relation to rover core. For faster movement of manipulator into determined positions we developed presets for default, drive and excavation modes. For precise typing and moving objects, we have incorporated 3D inverse kinematics and special task-specific presets of robotic arm. For better calibration of PID parameters of each joint, our team incorporated absolute encoder data of each joint. It also makes it possible to calibrate the robotic arm position with our software. For the faster change from the robotic arm's gripper to the digger, our team constructed a quick disconnect. Our communication system is based on 2.4 GHz Air Max technology suitable for long-range applications. TCP-IP protocol is used to send data between two radios. Vision systems consist of five cameras, drive camera, navigation camera with two degrees of freedom, two stereo cameras for autonomy task and measuring distance and mannequin with view on the gripper. Our rover is powered by 22.2 voltage lithium polymer battery pack with total capacity of 18 ampere hours. Every PCB made by us has over voltage, over current and reverse polarity protection. As our main computer, we use Nvidia Jetson AGX Orin supported by Raspberry Pi. To connect every computer, camera and other heavy traffic modules, we use an ethernet link. Other modules, such as the robotic arm, drive, GNSS and science use CAN bus to provide robust communication. Widgets in our custom app allow us a quick diagnostic of an issue and speed up fixing process. For autonomous navigation we utilized SLAM principles. Our software detects obstacles and updates the terrain map in real time. Path planning algorithms take constantly updating maps into consideration, leading us safely towards the goal point. AR tags can also be detected and their coordinates can be put on a map. We can navigate to any of the detected AR tags. To complete the science task, we've designed a module that will be mounted in the front mast of the Scorpio rover. Our planned analysis consists of using a Raman spectrometer of our own design. Spectral data received from this scientific instrument will be crucial for examining the chemical composition of the sample. The science module also has a microscope to give us the possibility of examining the soil on a micro scale. It allows us to find potential sightings of bacterial activity in the collected sample.